Good morning. How is everybody? I've already had a Thanksgiving disaster, but it's the same one that happens every year and I don't know how to fix it. So it's just going to have to be how it is, you know? Um, and the disaster is, I'll tell you, because you guys probably know how to cook way better than me. And the disaster is that my pie crusts always shrink. So they're in the oven right now. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, they need to be in for eight more minutes. So I need to go take them out of the oven in eight minutes. But yeah, my pie crusts always shrink. So I put a big lip on them this year and everything. And they've shrunk so much. So I thought this was the year I was going to nail it, but that's not hap- it's not going to happen. So if anyone has any suggestions for shrinking pie crusts, let me know. You can do it here or DM. That's fine. Today we're doing the bricks at the top here. It's also really sunny. I've got the light on, but we'll see. The recipe does not call for blind baking them. It says to put them in how they are. So that's my problem, I think. But we'll see. So you just put the pie crust in and you cut, you know, put it in the pan and then you pour the pot the pumpkin in. Yeah, and put them in the oven. And they always shrink down. Okay. So yeah, this is the problem, isn't it? That it's very, very sunny today. But I think if I zoom in, I'll be fine. So what we're doing for the bricks at the top is kind of like a brick stitch, but not really. So a brick stitch is when you have, I'll use this piece of paper, your stitches like this. Let's pretend that's a stitch so you can see it easier then one line. Yeah. And then you go down another one and you go down another one. Okay. Now the next row, you do a half stitch to the middle of this one. So the next stitch is going to be from here to the middle of this one. And by golly, what do they look like? They look like bricks. So the next one would be really long. Yeah, just like the first one. Okay, and if you turn it like this, it's bricks, just like the chimney. Isn't that incredible? So that's what we're going to do. Essentially, it's just tiny little satin stitches um, that go sideways like this. So you'll probably only get like two or three stitches for each one. Ooh, brick stitch, a favorite. So it's kind of like a brick stitch, but not. I was trying to look up to see if there's like a word for this, like when you do more than one stitch in a row to make it a brick stitch, like a double brick stitch or like a triple brick stitch or something like that. Um, but there's one in tapestry, but not one in embroidery. So take that as you will. You can start anywhere you want. I like to start in the middle because it gives me a good like base, you know, to work off of. And what I've done is I've mixed two strands of red and two strands of this brown color. So it's the same brown that I've been using for some of the stems. This one up here. And down there. So I'm trying to keep the colors a little bit consistent. Almost break stitch then. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> but I feel like sometimes people get a little bit confused with brick stitch because they kind of forget to go in the middle. So like if you've got two stitches like this, your next one should be the middle to the middle. So having it laid out like this kind of shows you like what to do, like gives you a good guide because you're just filling in all the stitches. So I'm going to start like here, I think, and then work my way up and work my way down. Obviously I couldn't, you know, make it easy. So 
Again, I've just got two strands of each color. So four strands all together. And it makes like a, can you see? I need to do my nails like really bad. Sorry guys. Uh, obviously you could do three of each color if you wanted. I just thought that the, the more stitches that I did for each brick would make it look a little bit like twisty almost. You know, because I want to see all of those colors. So with four strands, it looks like you'll get four stitches in. With six strands, you'll probably get less, maybe three. So there's one brick finished. Can you see that very well? I'm telling you, when it's sunny out, it's... I love my house for the sun, but when it's sunny out, you can't see very well. Hi, George. So these ones are going to butt right up to it, but not go into it. So you don't want to have like a split stitch situation where you're splitting these. You just want it to come right next to it. And we're going to try and keep the same number of stitches for each block brick it smells like pie in here it smells so good robin said that her pies didn't turn out very well and the cinnamon didn't mix in very well. I always mix the cinnamon in with the sugar. Cinnamon, sugar, ginger, clove. And I always put them all in together with the sugar and give it a good mix. So these here are just going to be tiny little stitches. Now, again, if this is one of those things that you're like, Tori, this is so tedious. I cannot be doing all these little stitches. Then obviously you can just do straight across satin stitch the whole way. I think I didn't follow my own instructions and made those first two stitches a little bit split into the brick. So hopefully you'll be able to tell that these are bricks, especially at the top. What are those black spots all over? <laughs> my mom said that my dad remarked, what are those black spots all over? If you don't like it, you can starve. Okay, the timer just went off. Hold on. Let me just take these out or check them. I'm going to put them in for 10 more minutes because I feel like before, before, like last year, not last year, the year before, the crust didn't cook all the way in the bottom. I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay. Sorry, guys. Exactly, make them yourself. I did make pumpkin muffins last night though, 
and they turned out really good. Although I didn't have enough um, cupcake liners, so I had to go next door and be like, can you, can you borrow me some cupcake liners, please? I actually never ate pie in my life. Shame on me. You should try. It's not like my favorite. Like pumpkin pie is like not like my favorite favorite. I'd rather have like apple or something else. <laughs> I have a knot on the back. That's what's the hold up. Um, but it's nice to have like once a year. And I really thought, do you know what? I'm just not going to do Thanksgiving this year because people can't come anyways. And it seems silly to buy all this stuff and make it all for like such a small number of people. But then I said, you know what? I'm doing it. Wow, this knot is relentless. Um, Mel just said, I still have to bake my pie. Typical me procrastinating. You've got loads of time. Okay, this knot's just going to live on the back because I just don't have time. I just don't have time to mess around with it. It's a big one though. In Germany, we are cake people. Yeah, I could see that. I've never been to Germany though. I think it would be nice to go. LOL at me saying I was going to go from the bottom to the top. Brace yourself. a little better. David's messaging me about some kind of apparel or something on fanatics, NFL stuff. Like, honey, we have bigger problems, okay? I've got a knot on the back of my embroidery and my pies are in the oven. You could probably make those all just one big long stitch instead of doing all the little ones um, because it'd probably look better and you can't really see the bricks for that part. So learn from my mistake. So let's pop up here. Hannah's saying, if you do go to Germany, you have to go to a German bakery. Try the bread, the cake, all the goods are so yummy. Oh, I bet. That's like the, one of my favorite parts when we would go to France is like just going into the little bakeries and like just trying all the stuff, like just having new stuff every day to be like, ooh, what about this? What about that? Let's try this one. But it's David's birthday on the 3rd, so he's probably like, hey, what about this for a present? I'm torn on too many colors because I can't decide on a house color. I'm just going for it because I know some people have the chimney the same color as their house, like a, like a coordinating color, you know, but some people, they're just the reddish brown color. The sun is coming. No, that doesn't work either. I need to get like a doors, blinds, and windows person to like sponsor my embroidery. And then, you know, like all those other people do. And be like, with the help of blinds for us, I don't have Clara on my embroidery anymore. 
Wouldn't that be funny? In reality, I'll probably just hang a sheet up. <laughs> that seems easier. I bet a cream colored house would look so cute. Yes. I can't decide on what color house I want to do. Initially, I was going to do um, like in the colored in copy in your patterns. It was like a uh, light blue-ish, like mint, like a mint color. Um, but now I feel like I want to change it, you know, loops and hoops and stitchery says I've been going on Pinterest to get inspiration for cabin colors. So smart. All is well with the pies. See the crust isn't like burnt looking. I'm very concerned about this. The crust isn't like burnt looking or anything. Ooh, if I put my hand there, you, maybe you could see better. Just enjoy the sunshine, okay? Okay. To be honest, this isn't really looking how I thought it would. I don't hate it, but in my head, it looked different. Do you know what I mean? Or a very light pink and peach. Yes. Party wants to do a navy blue house because I think they look so cute. But the embroidery teacher part of me is like, do not do that at all because you're not going to see any of the stitches and you're not going to be able to teach them because no one can see dark colored thread. Amanda says, you're doing a, an amazing job of multitasking this morning. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably the teacher in me too. Like always checking on other things, making sure everything's going smoothly. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I just remembered about the sweetest little red church we saw in Yosemite. I'm going to see if I can match that color. Ooh, Sarah, that's a good idea. That would be cute. And then at the very end of this, I'm going to go through and clean up these edges so that they don't look so wild. The other thing that you can do is take like one strand or two strands and you can separate all of these bricks with little straight stitches. Mel says that mom wants brown because Mel always stitches two hoops at a time and does one for her mother and one for herself and her mother is always like do it this way I want this color I want that color and it always cracks me up because she's like I don't want to do it but my mom wants me to do it she's so kind this is obviously horrible like honestly Maybe I could just scoot the table down. Oh, that's a good idea. Brace yourself, okay? Sorry. That's better, you can see it better now. It's wobbly. But yeah, the sun's like not right on it, so you can actually see. Just gotta figure out why it's wobbly all of a sudden. Okay, the pies are coming out. If they're not done, they're not done. You know, that's just the way it is. Okay, 
yeah, much better. You can totally see all the things, except this table is wobbly now. Oh, better. Oh, better. Okay, so what I was saying about the... Look at that knot, guys. Could you get some of those cheap temporary blinds to attach with Velcro for the stitch-alongs? I'm going to have to um, because normally it's not this sunny, but I can't... Um, you can't see it, so I might have to just move my table that way because there is extra space there um, when we start if it's a sunny day, you know? I don't mind doing that. Okay, so what I was saying is that you could take a lighter color... So like a cream or a silver, something like that. Let's just see, I've got this light cream color here. And do a little separation for each one if you really wanted to. You obviously do not have to do this part. I'm only just thinking because it's hard to see the actual bricks. So let's see what this looks like. My house smells so good. I'm so hungry. I can feel my stomach being like, can you just give me some food though? Please. Okay, so let's see how this looks. If I do one little stitch down the middle of each of the bricks, and again, you obviously do not have to do this. So I'm not, this is like OTT stuff because I can't stop, can I? But I think it'll look really cute. And I forgot to outline, didn't I? Like I said, I was gonna do an outline. So I'm doing all the down ones first so that I can do the horizontal ones later, like afterwards, and then they'll cover up these ones. Yeah, with the cream, that looks great. We'll see. Down here, it might get a little bit dicey. Because the stitches are so small. Okay, and let's go up to this one here. And then I think there's one over here. And then one down here. Honestly, what you could have done is um, OTT over the top. Um, honestly, what you could have done is probably just done straight satin stitch over and then done the lines if you wanted to. Um, but I think that doing like the fake brick stitch for the bricks will help with um, trying to figure out where to put the lines later. And listen, I don't want to hear any of this. My fireplace is wonky. My chimney is, is looking wild. Okay, have you even seen them? That's how they look. This is a cozy, a cozy cabin that's been there since the 1800s. Okay, that's why it looks like that. So just make up a story that goes along with, with, whatever happened to your cottage. Now, I don't think I would outline in cream just because um, you won't be able to see it. You know, if you outline it with the cream color. So I'm gonna go back and outline with the same color that I had before. enough left so that's fantastic and for the outline I'm only gonna do two 
strands. I'll do one strand of the brown and one strand of the red because I don't want to have a really like chunky outline. I want it to be like smooth. Let's put these two together. <laughs> Susanna says, I'm late again. That's okay. Yeah, I feel like it looks a lot better with the outline on it, you know? Let's put this on the little needle. So for outline, you could do a stem stitch, you could do a back stitch, you could do a split stitch if you wanted to. I'm probably just going to do a back stitch that goes between each of the bricks. So obviously if you wanted to have a really straight chimney line, you could just do one big long one like this. Let's see how that looks actually because it will really straighten up the chimney. Let's do one at the top. To cap it off. And we'll do one coming down the side. And let's see how that, if that looks like anything good, you know? Or not. Yeah, I think that's all right, you know? Obviously some of my straight stitches could have been a wee bit straighter for the bricks, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. So that's what we've got for today. What do you think? He's got a little brick chimney coming up the top. So I'm going to tie this in a knot. I'm going to tie a knot around all of this stuff and then cut those off because that knot's going to drive me crazy. There we go. Got a little chimney there. So that's all we're doing today. We're gonna keep it really simple and easy for Thanksgiving. Um, I just wanted to quickly let all of you know that I'm super thankful for you this year. Um, doing these stitch alongs has really saved my sanity, saved my life. And having all of your support is honestly the best. So thank you so much for being here. And thank you for sticking with me. And a lot of you have done almost every single stitch along that I've ever put out. And that is just incredible. Like I cannot thank you enough. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I love you all. I really, really do. So be sure to tag. I cannot wait to see your little chimney. Um, and if you need more time to finish all this stuff like me, then that's okay too. You can always do it later today when you've got, you know, a bit of time. Um, I know a lot of people aren't going to be with their all of their families this year. Um, so hopefully it's like we're all family, you know? It's like all of us together. So be sure to like and comment on other people's hoops if you have some time today. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then I just hope you have a lovely day. I know I love you anyways. So enjoy your day and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye. Aww.